We're in the building, baby. The vlogging camera. Woo! Carson's room. We're having a party right now. Minecraft party. We got a new camera last night. The Canon G7X. It is beautiful. It's much lighter than my last camera. Jerk. I feel like I didn't vlog that much with my Canon, with my bigger Canon, because it's like fucking ah, uh, uh, it's like ah, uh, holding a brick, dude. Ah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, but now we in this we got the cannon Carson is gonna get dressed and then we're gonna go get something to eat and then we're gonna get into some storage I bought some stuff for the downstairs room uh, you know to go along with like I'm, I'm slowly but surely taking over each room of this house and filling it to the max with preem so you guys will have to wait and see that the studios already mine full bedroom it's a wrap my bedroom, half of that, and the closet, ksh, mine. Now the downstairs room, Chance, as some of you may know, is uh, on a government vacation. So his room, ksh, about to be mine. And uh, pretty soon I'm going to take over the whole house. So welcome to the first vlog on the Canon G7X. Let's get it. Oh, man, look at this fit for CJ. And mom says Carson can't dress CJ. Look at this little distressed denim right here. Mm-hmm, light denim. Then we got the Minecraft shirt. We got creepers and all kinds of stuff on here. Ooh, let's show them your Minecraft lamp. No. Oh, look at this. This is fashion. -y. Oh, you know what? You want to wear your Tom and Jerry beanie? No? <laughs> Why not? Good. Carson, when the vlog is going, baby, you have to say something. You have to talk. You can't just stare at it and smile. Let's get your Tom and Jerry beanie. Come on. Here's what we're grubbing on today. Oh, a little veggie soup action, Rasky. Is it delicioso? Hashtag do you like that? We are in the beautiful city of Ontario, California. Shout out to wherever you are from in the world, wherever you guys are watching this. I know we got homies all over. International boys, where are you guys at? Domestic boys, where are you guys at? Shout out to all the homies in Canada. Y'all know what it is, man. So the plan with this little camera, dude, is uh, we're gonna get straight to it, man. Vlog gang, we're out here, dude. You know what it is, Prem Boys. But uh, seriously though, I want to start uh, doing like a little bit more vlogging and just like a little bit like trying to be more active on my channel. And that means like, you know, with the streetwear and like the pickups and the supreme part of it always because you guys know uh, that is what me and Duva do all day, every day, is preem population. So that will never go away. You know, I'm always down to do pickups and like talk about clothes and involve clothes and supreme on my channel. But I just wanted to like get this little camera and maybe like involve Carson a little bit more and do some vlogs with Carson. And because he's always like, I want to do this and put it on YouTube. I want to do this. So, you know, like include him and Duva and maybe do things like the three of us, you know, like that family aspect to it but don't go like you know full like challenge videos and shit like that I don't think I could ever bring myself to do things like that but you know what it is man if that makes any sense then holla at your mother boy and uh, let's get into today's video man welcome to my downstairs lair as you guys can see I am slowly taking over this bedroom. We got the whole stock shelf right here. We got our whole shipping spot right here. And uh, I am now into this closet right here, which is what we're gonna get into right now. So I'm gonna do a little bit of storage stuff. I'll show you guys how I store my hats. I'll show you guys how I store my shirts, my other clothes, where I put everything. A lot of my stuff gets worn. A lot of it doesn't get worn as well. So I like the stuff that doesn't get worn to be safe and have a nice spot to nestle down and collect dust all right i bought this thing last night at target this room essentials like just these basic little like cube things you could get those at like any target any walmart i'm just gonna build that on that side of the closet right there so i can put my shirts and that kind of stuff and get them off the floor because you guys can see those things are on the floor right now which is not good so let's get right into it this box right here this is called my Christmas tea box right now I got two of them in here but I am just gonna slowly stack these in here because these things are going for like 60 70 dollars right now so I'm just gonna fill this little bin up 
And then by the time next Christmas comes, I'm gonna get 200 for each tee. Watch me. And while we are on the Christmas tee subject, check this out. Silent Night 2014. Dead Stock with Tags. Merry Christmas Dracula 2015. Dead Stock in the Plastic. Santa Tee 2016. Dead Stock in the Plastic. Sex Skeletons 2017. Dead Stock with the Tags. With me. First bin we got here is one for my beanies. As you guys can see, it's like a, you know, like middle sized one. It's not like a super long one like that, but it's not just a super tiny box. It's probably, I don't know, two feet by two feet or something like that. You pull off the little lid, bam, there's all the beanies, dude. They get stacked all the way down. I just overlap them like back and forth, like a little game of jenga tetris whatever you want to call it and then you got a big box of beanies every time i need a beanie boom i come pull off the lid find a color that matches oh shit, i'm wearing red all right let me grab my red ftp beanie so on and so forth biggity bang beanies so the next part is for my pants some of you guys may not be like me and collect pants pants are some of my favorite things to collect sweats work pants whatever it is so for that i got the longer skinnier boxes as you guys can see right here so i can fit maybe one two three pants across or four across and then stack them high so you open it up and then it's just like that, dude. All of these are in plastic. Usually they're like three or four deep depending on how thick the pants are. But this is where all of my pants go. I have more than one box full. So here is the second box. You know, same thing, shorts, pants, anything that's not like my regular everyday black pants or denim, they go inside these boxes right here. Everything is organized like this. It's the easiest way to find it. It's only three or four deep So I don't have to search too crazy and I pretty much have an idea already of what's inside here So, you know, I have an idea and then I can come down here pull off the lids and I can figure out Which pants that I want to wear some of you guys have probably seen this before. This is like the longest Lasting storage bin that I've had is for these hats. This is like the first thing that I decided to organize. Again, some of you guys may not love hats like I do, so you might not have any need for this. You might have, you know, like a handful of hats like a normal person, but if you're anything like me, then a plastic bin is necessary for your hats. Obviously, the way I organize them, that's up to your personal preference. You can mix them up, do whatever. Over here, I got like camp hats, like that i don't have many of those so there's not that many these are like regular six panel hats right here and then we got all classic logo all the way down right here and then all s logo all the way down right here some of them are in plastics most of them are just chilling again it's the easiest way to organize it so i could just pull off the lid see what colors i'm wearing what color hat i need bam pull it out when i'm done i just push the stack back and put the hat back just like that hats check this is probably one of my most favorited bins right here and that is my backpack bins here we go we got duffels backpacks my steep tech bag by any means necessary by any means necessary by any means necessary and then we got the yellow leather duffel at the bottom so this is more of like a permanent house for these bags i just shove them in there and then i know where they're at if i ever want to grab them out the best thing about these boxes is they're like space efficient those are all the boxes that i just showed you if i took everything out of these boxes it would pile all over the bed and more but you know just find a little corner space or a little floor space that you're not using you know like a little five by five space whatever and you can have all of your things chilling in the same area and then you can get action to it whenever you need this is obviously for people that have more than the amount of stuff that they should probably have like me a normal person just like fits it in their closet but like i said i have like six closets in the house so you know if you're like getting to that point or just passing that point then this video is obviously for you upstairs i do have a closet as well it's filled with like my more everyday things that i use you know like my thrash hoodies my spitfire hoodies like hoodies and clothes that I get access to you know on a more daily basis down here this is like the vault 
is what I would call it. These are items that I don't normally wear every single day, but I wanna keep nice and have on display. If you guys are wondering where I get the bags, this is the box right here. It's from Uline. You guys can go on Uline.com or whatever the website is and you guys can buy a box of these dry clean like little bags right here. Everybody hits me up for these. Sometimes I sell them to people on live on pre population like, oh, let me get a bag, whatever. I'll send you 10 bags or whatever. Hit me up. Uh, on the live video if you guys want to buy some but anything that is worth the bag goes inside the bag it comes out of the plastic and then I just dip it through this bag and then they all hang right here it protects it from dust and all that kind of so I can leave it in the bag even if I don't touch it for a year or two years bam when I do pull it out it's protected it's not dirty it's not dusty everything looks golden and beautiful so we have it going down here and stretched across this way and then we open it up and it goes to the other side this little uh, storage unit thing right here is gonna go right here so some of these clothes are gonna have to get squished that way again so I can get my t-shirts and stuff off of the floor you guys will see me get in to that right now here is our little shelf inside the box I am gonna magically make this thing built in the next two seconds instead of me building it I got Duva right here <laughs> building my shell and I just do this keep going girl go okay, go do go do we good job baby just kidding, I'm helping her. We have a small problem. This thing's a lot smaller than we thought. I thought uh, they think I'm trying to store wine here. <laughs> but I'm trying to store Maybe. clothes. Uh, so I could just roll each t-shirt up in a ball and stick it in there. What do you think, babe? No? Cars, what do you think we should do? It's not the right size, what do we do? Roll it up to a little square thing, shove it in. That's a good idea, son. Never, uh, never underestimate the power of Sleepy, so. Our things, our holes are too small, and uh, we just gotta find some glue. So we're gonna attempt to line this with glue, and then we're gonna shove the piece on there and hold it for like a minute, and then hopefully it stays. And then we'll do the whole thing. Hopefully it doesn't have to be like super, super sturdy, just sturdy enough to put a couple shirts on and make this worth it. All right, so here we are with our beautiful contraction. We are just now waiting for this baby to dry. I'm gonna give it a couple hours. I use hot glue, which dries immediately, but I use some Gorilla Glue as well, so I need to wait for that to dry. Obviously, it's a little smaller than I intended, but whatever, for video purposes, it's fine. Looky here, dude. Got her in the closet. Actually, the size of this thing is not too bad. I'm not that disappointed. I want one to go here, which I will probably get, but this thing's tight. Look, it's perfect size for the little corner of the closet. So I just took out the center dividers and I glued this thing. I just made the best out of what I have. So uh, I'll probably put some tees from that pile on it. Obviously, I cannot fit four piles of t-shirts, one little rack right here, but I do have some extra stuff up here. I got a couple headbands I'll throw on there. I got this stack of stuff right here, which is just random and then whatever this is so you guys get the gist dude I got these headbands. I held on to a lot of headbands this year because uh, Headbands are always gold after they drop dude. So I don't know you guys know what I'm talking about dude Just throw a little something up there. You got like a little Arabic mask 3m beanie brown rust beanie some big logo beanies you know we got a little beanie shelf part whatever shove those babies in there put the arabic mask in there we got an arabic tea i can slide in there 20k mofi and uh leopard towel throw that in there you guys get the gist dude next time i go to the store i'm obviously gonna measure so i could get a proper size storage unit uh to fill up the rest of this closet but that is it dude i hope you guys enjoyed the video you guys saw how i stored my beanies my pants my hats my bags you guys saw this little thing i just put in the end of my closet how i hang all my clothes thank you guys for watching first little vlog of hopefully a streak that we can get on if you guys are for the streak make sure you guys like the video let me know in the comments subscribe if you are not subscribed because um, you guys already know we have the best supreme content and hopefully the best all-around content to come on this channel man shout out to all you guys I love you all very much and we'll see you tomorrow on the next video peace